When you're reviewing your placement reports within Google Ads, it's easy enough just to select the campaigns that you see that may be irrelevant to your traffic and just click exclude from campaign. Well, what if those URLs may be junk traffic that you never want to be applied to any campaign? That is where placement exclusion lists can really come in. They are designed within Google Ads to allow you to create long lists of URLs that you can apply to any campaign within your Google Ads account. So in this video, I wanna show you how you can utilize those lists and some new ideas that you might wanna try that can help you be proactive in weeding out junk URLs before you even have them show up within your Google Ads account. So let's dive in. Today's video is brought to you by Shape, an all-in-one PVC budgeting solution that'll allow you to control, organize, and collaborate on ad spend at scale. You ready to start saving some time? Good, well then click on the link below and you can learn all about Shape. In your Google Ads account, go to Tools and Settings, and then go to Placement Exclusion Lists. In this account, we haven't created any exclusion lists yet, so I'm gonna click Create List. Now I'm gonna show you one option you may consider for creating an exclusion list. And this list is going to be the most common. Most likely, if you're running display campaigns, you are reviewing your placement reports and looking at where your ads are being shown. We can find all the URLs in that placement report that we consider junk, that we don't want our ads ever shown on those websites, no matter what campaign we create in the future. So export those list of URLs for your placement report, and you can click Enter Multiple Placements. I'm gonna to go to that list that I already have exported, copy that list of URLs, then we can paste paste it in this placement URLs line. To bring it over, it's unfortunately cut off and I can't scroll down anymore, but we can add all those placements in this blue button right at the bottom. If everything looks good, we can click save. And now we have that exclusion list already in place. And in the future, you have different date ranges and you find more URLs not applicable to your account in your placement reports. You can click on the exclusion list you will go back into that list. And if you click the blue button, you can edit the list and continue to add future exclusions. But now we're gonna go back. Let's say this is the first time you're setting it up. You have this list. Now we have to apply it to campaigns. Right now we just have one list within the account. Even if you have multiple lists already created, click on the placement exclusion list you want to choose and now click apply to campaigns. You have the option to select all campaigns, if that makes sense. And you're gonna have to remember if you create any campaigns in the future to go back and reapply those campaigns. It's not gonna automatically do it for every new campaign you create. Or you have the option to hand select a few campaigns you would like. If these are the five campaigns I want this exclusion list to use, I can just hit apply. And now we see these 83 placements within this exclusion list will never show my ads for these five campaigns. So that's a common way to take your placement reports and the junk URLs you see in those reports and exclude them from all your display campaigns. Let me show you a second way I like to use placement exclusion list, and that's being a little bit proactive in my approach. So let's create another list. And hypothetically, let's just say I have a client who never wants their display ads shown on anything related to gaming. Gaming the audience has nothing to do with what they have to offer. So I'll name my exclusion list. And just like how we can research targeting options for regular display campaigns, it's the same way that we can research placements that we can use as exclusions. So I can search by keywords, phrase, URLs, and look at gaming sites. All I did was type in the word gaming and we get thousands of YouTube channels, videos, websites, apps, and one app category that I can add as an exclusion. So I can look at each of these categories. Let's first look at YouTube channels. If I want to, I can select all of them or just handpick a few. Same thing with videos. I can look at websites. Okay, I can go on and on and pretty much select all of them if I want to. And then I can just click save. Same thing. Now I want to apply these to my campaigns. And now I have a proactive category of any gaming site will be excluded from all of my display and video campaigns. So if you really believe in top of funnel strategies, building brand awareness, but you still want to make sure your ads are reaching just the relevant users, depending on what your campaign or account goals are, here are a few ways you can utilize placement exclusion lists. Whether you're letting your ads run first and then reviewing your placement reports to exclude, or you're trying to be as proactive as possible, these placement exclusion lists can save you a lot of money, especially if you're being proactive, but also a ton of time. It's way easier to create a list and attach it to a bunch of campaigns than reviewing your placement reports at almost a campaign level. So if you're running any display or video campaigns, get these exclusion lists up and running. This is just another wonderful free tool that Google offers that any display or video marketer should utilize immediately. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week, so if you want to see more from the Paid Media Pros channel, be sure to subscribe.